Will Neil Lennon be signing on at the job centre in the morning or will another club offer him a lifeline? Welcome back, guys, to Fog Fitbit. And this is some shocking news. But Neil Lennon has been sacked. I cannot believe it. I'm going to try and pronounce this team's name. No doubt I will butcher it, so apologies in advance. But Omenea Nicosia have sacked Neil Lennon following a spirited draw. No, not a draw. Almost got a draw. I mean, it was close to a draw. It was pretty much a draw, apart from a Scott McTomney late, late winner. But anyway, a spirited performance against Manchester United. Now, keep in mind, Neil Lennon only took over in charge of this club seven months ago. He then went on to lead them to win the Cyp Cypriot Cup. Then he got them qualification into Europa League and then came very close to drawing with Man United on two occasions and drawing with Real Sociedad on one occasion. Of course, he didn't get any of them. Late, late, late goals, you know, obviously cost his team anything in those matches but this does come across to me as a, a very harsh decision and I am surprised to see Neil Lennon here lose out and, and get sacked by the club but I mean who knows maybe it's perfect timing we all know that Rangers fans aren't really happy with Geo Van Broncos so maybe they would be more happy with a guy that is familiar to the Scottish Premiership, a guy that's got experience in Scotland, a guy that has managed the Glasgow before, maybe Rangers could go and hire Neil Lennon. What do you think, guys? Could it be a match made in heaven anyway? Um, all joking aside, uh, yeah, Neil Lennon sacked then, and the board came out and made the following statement. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this or not. It seems like they care more about the domestic aspect of the results rather than what Neil Lennon has done in Europe. But at the same time, if they care so much domestically, he did win the cup. So to me, I think this is very, very harsh. Now, I believe they're sitting seventh place at the moment, but they're only like, is it six league games in, eight league games in? So, I mean, it's not like they're mid-table halfway through the season. It's just... You know, they're sitting in seventh place or whatever, and they're only like a handful of games into the season. It, it, it's not even 10 games in. It just doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, the club came out and made a statement and said, quote, we inform you that we have agreed with Mr. Neil Lennon to stop our collaboration. Mr. Neil Lennon took over the technical leadership of our team last March at a difficult time and managed to lead us to winning the cup and then historic qualification against KAA Ghent and our entry into Europa, uh, Europa League groups where we came close to historic results against Real Sociedad and Manchester United. Unfortunately, the ongoing competitive instability and the insignificant losses of points in the championship are the main reasons that made us decide to end our partnership. Mr. Lennon has written his name in the history of Omenea and deserves the respect and recognition of all of us. Our paths separate but the memories of our collaboration will unite us forever. We sincerely thank Mr. Lennon for his contribution and wish him every success in his future career. End of quote. So there you go. That is the club statement on why they have parted ways with Neil Lennon. I think the key part of that statement is, unfortunately, the ongoing competitive instability and the significant losses of points in the championship are the main reasons that made us decide to end our partnership. So it seems like, I don't know, I guess... They're just not picking up enough points in the league. I guess he's dropping too many points in the league. Uh, competitive instability. Yeah, so it just tells me not stable enough, not consistent enough. And, I mean, it could be, you know, one game they're, you know, almost getting a draw against Manchester United. Then the next game, maybe they're losing to a team in Cyprus that they should be easily beaten. I don't know. I haven't really been following it, but I, I just think this is harsh on Lennon, especially after winning the Cup, you know, uh, getting them into Europa League, then having some really good performances against Sociedad and United and coming so close on multiple occasions to actually getting uh, points in their group. It, it does seem like he should have been given more time, but, I mean, who knows? And maybe the teams that they've been losing to in the league have been really, really poor. Maybe it's been massive upsets. And I don't know, maybe he's lost the dressing room. We do not know. But what we do know is that Neil Lennon is now on the hunt for another job. And the guy could be maybe returning back to Scotland. There's no clubs that are really looking for a manager at the moment. I'm actually trying to think of someone who's under threat. Uh, who, whose job is under threat? I know I joked about Gio's job, but I mean, who is realistically could he go to? I can't think of anyone. You know what? I can't think of... Would Hibs take him back? 
Would Hibs fans want him back? I don't know. I can't think. I mean, maybe Dundee United, but I think they're going to appoint. I think they're going to appoint their uh, caretaker manager as the the real guy. So I, I don't know, guys. Is there a way back for Neil Lennon in Scottish football? I don't know, but what I can tell you is he's no longer managing in Cyprus. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.